shall warm, shall warm, shall warm, Akim. Back at you with another video. Maybe a quick hitter. But um, yeah, man, just to say, they're trying to get rid of us, man. Trying to get rid of us, but they can't. So I want to start by saying, giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq, Kodash. Give double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and the house of David is rising. They want to get rid of us, but they can't. What made me say that? When I look up and I see the sun up there. <laughs> You know, getting my son fixed for now while it's there. I said, let me just turn on the, turn on the camera. I used to do my videos here quite more often. You know, then I started to change up. But um, yeah, this is um how I used to do my videos here in this place when I first started. But I was just walking through here and I said, look at the sun. You're getting, it's getting a little bit of um, a, a circle fix. A circle fix and Jeremiah Jeremiah came to my mind Jeremiah 31 and 35 the the challenge that your whole shy your whole way I put to the ease you can't get rid of the Sun you can't get rid, rid of the moon you can't go beneath the sea you can't put an end to all the ordinance and if you try to if you did if you put an end to all the ordinance I'll, um, I'll get rid of Israel. I'm just going to quote scriptures for now. I ain't got my glasses. I'm just going to quote um, the scriptures, the necessary scriptures. But when you look up every morning and you see the sun, which we're starting to see more of it now, and at night when you see the ordinances, the moon, the stars, you may even see, see a glimpse of other things. Um, a glimpse of um, signs and wonders and all those things and you see them man because um israel will be here predominantly forever everlasting they ain't gonna be able to get rid of them they've tried to they tried to blow up the moon and that, that's all um some of them documentaries that i used to watch when they tried to blow up the moon and one of the chariots went turned it around and you know that's um that's all up there. One of the one of the sergeants or corporals mentioned it, and um, yeah, they tried to blow up the moon. They, all those things they've tried, and the laser, the chariot, laser came out of the chariot, went up there, sp spotted it, lasered it, and it fell down to the ground. One of the um, the missiles. They've tried to do these things. They've tried to go right beneath the Atlantic, the transatlantic, and all the Antarctic and find out everything that's going on there and there's, there, there's certain places where they just can't go the, the, the water pressure is too much for them so just to say every time you look up and you see the sun you see the moon the stars the ordinances you're still here and you will not be destroyed particularly um, even the whole of Israel even a lot of the two thirds are gonna have to die but they're gonna return man uh, Daniel's chapters um, 12 one and two yeah they're gonna die but they're gonna come back in shame but they're still gonna come back and the elect the elect uh, some of the elect may have to be martyred but this they're, they're gonna come back too the whole of the elect are gonna be here ruling man forever so they've tried that they ain't gonna get be able to get rid of Yahshua Allah the princes of the power and that is what we are the princes of the power you can't get rid of your whole shy's children your whole way whole shy's children God's children will be here. They was here from the beginning of creation and they're going to continue to be here after all you E's have gone, man. After the thousand years, that's in Obadiah 18, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be burnt up and done away with for good. You're going to be burnt up like stubble. So, yeah, we know about the, the, the phrase from Henry Kissinger. He made a comment. And the, the Georgia Guidestones, where they said they're going to try and get rid of us by way of food poisoning, by way of V, dragon juice. And they've tried it with the dragon juice, the serpent juice, the pandemic. They've got rid of quite a few. And I don't mind if they get rid of all the chaff of this, of this earth. I don't mind. They can get rid of them. There's more room and 
there's room, more room for us. Wouldn't it be good if we just came here, we just step out, stepped out the yard, and which we're starting to see that now a little bit more. But I like my space, man. I like my space. So you can get rid of the chaff, but you ain't gonna get rid of Yahshua your, your Allah, the Prince of the Power. Genesis, I think it's Genesis 32. Around about 29. You ain't gonna be able to get rid of Yahshua Allah. Or it might be 29. 32. So I might have to do I might go in and do a video. I ain't got my glasses, so I ain't gonna be able to read no precepts right now. But yeah man, they tried to get rid of us and they could continue and and then like I say last time I was there, anytime we come in this place, they're always banging things, trying to fix and repair things. Because they don't believe their kingdom's gonna go, man. Psalms 90, Psalms 49 and 11 they think their kingdom is going to be here forever man and stand forever that's why they name their houses after their own names their lands after their own names they think they're going to their kingdom is going to continue that's their mindset that their kingdom is going to continue forever but the most is getting rid of it brick by brick brick by brick no matter what they try and do when it's breaking down they're trying to rebuild and that was a little, um, the hurricanes or the earthquakes that have been taking place all around the world. And if you've done a chart and you looked up the chart on the earthquakes, you'll see that they're taking place regularly, fast and furious. So they ain't going to be get, be able to get rid of us, but their kingdom ain't going to have to go. Jacob is the, Jacob, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of the after of that following. Second Ezra 6 and 9. So man, yeah, that's Jeremiah, Jeremiah 31 and from 35 onwards. If you can try and get rid of all the ordinances, the stars, the moon and the sun under the oceans, I'll get rid of Israel, but you ain't going to be able to do it. We're going to stand forever according to, because the whole world was made for our sakes. Second Ezra's six and the whole of the chapter. The whole world was made for our sakes. So yeah, man. If I go in a little bit deeper, uh, I will be back later on anyway, doing a video. Um, the Hilangoli after hours video. Abaratas are. I'll be back doing that. So shalom to all the sincere. I can give double honors to all the elders in the apostle of Great Millstone. Rise up to the house of David. And everything the wicked have done to us, past, present and future, is falling upon their own head. Until the next one.